OpenAI released a demo to generate 3D models and I want to show you how to use it and export the results to Blender or any other 3D software. Start off by going to the pointy GitHub website, copy the URL and create a new tab. Then go to Google Collaborations. Go to the GitHub tab and paste the URL in the search bar. It's gonna show three options. We're gonna use the third one, the text, the 3D one. It's gonna bring us to a bunch of code which looks pretty complicated and overwhelming, but don't worry, we're not gonna have to understand a single thing of it. All you wanna do now is create a new code block at the very top. I split the code in the description of this video in two parts. Paste the upper part in the empty code block. Now you wanna run everything except the last two blocks. It's gonna take a while, about a minute, so I'm gonna speed this up. When all of this is done, you have everything you need to start generating. Under runtime, change the runtime type to GPU and this is very important because it brings the generation time from several minutes to just a few seconds. Put your prompt in the second to last block and run the last two blocks. When it's finished, you will see that there are only a few preview images, but we want to view and rotate the model. To do this, we will need the other half of the code in the description. Make a new code block with the second half of the code. When you run it, you will see a window with the generated model and you can view it properly. Keep in mind that this is still a demo version, so not every result will be good or even something recognizable. I'm not really satisfied with this one, so I will generate something simpler. An apple, for example. I will change the prompt and to generate something new, I will only need to run the last three blocks of code again. You can download the file by clicking the map icon and refreshing the directory. In the map point E, the file is called filename.ply. What you have now is a point cloud, it's not a mesh yet. So first we will need something like MeshLab to convert the point cloud to a mesh. When that's done, your model is ready to go in Blender. After a bit of cleaning up and texturing in Blender, we now have a model that is actually pretty decent. Obviously it's not perfect yet, but I think it could be used as the base of a sculpt for example, or something in the background of a game. I'm planning on making a video about a fully AI made game, so if you're interested or you just found this video helpful and you want to support the channel, consider subscribing or leaving a comment, I'm always happy to hear what you guys have to say.